Matawa fuels APC rumor as three governors land in Zamfara. Hello, my wonderful people. Zamfara is the state that the uh, presidency has declared no flying zone. It was in Zamfara state that, you know, uh, the presidency has said these are the set of people who are mining gold and uh, using it as a decoy to, you know, uh, go ahead and commit banditry uh, where, the, where the rich people mine gold, send them away, send the people away to uh, send, send, the, give the bandits weapons to go ahead and uh, as fleet the people why they themselves. You know, why they themselves go ahead and uh, send go to Dubai and become rich. So they know exactly what is happening, but pretending mm -hmm. and leaving Nigerians to, you know, bear the bronze themselves. Please uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. Matawa Fuel's APC rumor as three governors land in Zamfara. Three APC All Progressive Congress governors on Monday visited Zamfara to inaugurate some building and Amin's report that Governor Belo Mata is said to dump the People's Democratic Party. The governors Halaji Boni of Yubi, Abu Bakar Badego of Jigawa and Atiku Badego of Kebi each inaugurated houses named after their state. Matawa built 18 detached houses to serve as accommodation for state governors and other officials. Each of the houses was named after the 18 northern states. While commissioning the Yobe House, Governor Boni, who is also the national chairman of the Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, APC, commended Mat Bello for modernizing the state. I am particularly impressed by what my brother Matawa is doing here in Zamfara. In spite of the dwindling resources coupled with the security situation fueled by the, faced by the state and fueled by bandits, this is the kind of development we need, which also translates into provision of divines of democracy, Bello has noted. He described Bello as a bridge builder, peacemaker, and dynamic leader who builds resilient infrastructures and provides security to, the, to his state within a short time. See these people. The governors also commemorated with the government and people of the state over the recent fire disaster, which destroyed part of Tando Wadi Gusa market. Matawa said the construction of the houses was to provide secure accommodation for international standards to governors and government officials and, and personnel on official assignments in the state. He added that the new houses would help to reduce the expenses being incurred by the government in accommodating such visitors in hotels and rented houses. According to him, the houses were part of the many gathered that the new houses will help in reducing the expenses being incurred by the government in accommodating such visitors in hotel and rented houses. According to him, the houses were part of the many infrastructure projects provided by his administration to move the state to the next level of development. So this is what the governor of Jigawa is using money for, to build accommodation preparation for so it's only northern governors that we visit yet you call it one nigeria if you look at what is happening in this country you know that there is a serious line of divide so he built so the, you know his state is one of the uh, 19 northern states so i mean he's in his state but for the other uh, northern governors he built 18 and uh, northern governors were there to help him commission you know this building where he was speaking and he was being celebrated that's not a bad thing at all. However, is that the one Nigeria we are talking about? Because if you look at the, the if you look at the thing very well, he's building it in reference to northern governors. Okay, coming into the state, and instead of staying somewhere else, we have to stay in this place. Oh well and good, yeah, let them stay. But what about other governors from other states? You see, let's be very honest with ourselves. Is that the fundamental? Is that what the state needs now? 
Is that the most important thing that the state is in dying need of? What about the people who has been displaced by this very Boko Haram? You guys are, be, are, are, are bridging and you people are really brooding and, and supporting. Who ha have not heard that they've gone to, you know, take care of these people, look after the, the women that have become widow over the incident of these people. I've not heard a single word. Maybe it's just me that I've not heard it. And I would like to hear from you if you've heard that they've actually looked after these people. You see... These people are the victims, yet they are the ones being neglected to pick up the fragments and the pieces of their life that this administration has caused with their inabilities. These people are the ones who have not had, you know, a life. Be, you know, life has just been taken away from them, yet Nigerian government has decided to rather take care of themselves, look after themselves, rather than the real people who are victims here. So, what are we really talking about? Let's look at this very seriously. What are we really talking about? It's not, is it not, is it not important that Nigerians are looked after? Rather than this government, if you know how much they collect for themselves, rather than this government collecting money for themselves, by themselves, with themselves, promoting themselves, everything is about them. Did you hear that I called them to commission so that to make sure that there's no more amajeries walking around? Is there a program we are set up to ensure that parents remember or are, are, are conversant with the fact that children have to go to school? What has he put in place in his state to ensure that women and children, uh, 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 health care is part of what they will get? What has he put in place to ensure that, you know, these people, you know, they do not, they do not suffer needlessly? If you look at these things, and uh, one will begin to wonder, are you sincerely sure that these people, they fear God? Are you really sure? Because most of them, eh, the things they do when they get there is, is unimaginable. It's really unimaginable. How can a state government, all they talk about is themselves. What next is for us? What can we do next? How, what, what, what's the next thing for us? Me, 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 me. What about the people you are serving? First of all, you're supposed to be serving these people. You're supposed to be serving these people. So we really like to hear and know what's really going on. You know? You really like to know what is really going on here. Nigerians, please leave us a comment. Okay? Thank you so much. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. God bless you. Bye for now.